Nebraska and a giant sea of red. This is one of the most intimidating places to play in all of college football. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Nebraska lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 37. The Buckeyes have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. A one-yard gain on the play. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. <laughs> Tackle at the 27. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. to about the 35. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Four yard line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Tries to get around the corner. And he's taken down at the 41 yard line. Nebraska's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And a quick throw. Tackle made at the 50. Number six makes the tackle at the 50 yard line. That brings up second and nine. And he's tackled at the 41. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. That makes it first and ten. He's taken down right around the 18-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier.
Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. He knows how to run. And he's taken down around the one-yard line. Touchdown, Bucks. And he hits the PAT. A six. 59-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Makes it to the 28-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28. He'll get it again. They'll knock him down for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see the team is fired up after that play. Mike five, Mike five. Reach out. Got a man. Watch out here. He's knocked out of bounds at the 35. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play looking to him to get the first. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Tackle at the 37. Gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. They'll bring him down to 39 yard line. That's a good game, two yards. That makes it third and seven. So we're looking at another third down here. on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Buckeyes lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ohio State is up a score. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at about the 47 yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. 15 is the mic. 15 is the mic. I got 15. Makes it out to about the 36. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. 
The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. He might have a chance. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. My five. My five. Go. He has some room. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Just throws this one away. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 41. He scrambled. He's at midfield. Brought down the 47 yard line. his way to about the 32. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Check three, check three, check three. My five, my five. Quick throw out to the receiver. Here he goes. And down he goes around the 17 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17. They'll get him for a loss. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's tackled at the 16-yard line. Call it a game of six yards. Third down. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 16. And he tackles him hard at the 21. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day.
The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. As a man, he'll lose big yards from their own 21-yard line. It's second down. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. The defense here gives some yards up, but they do set up a fourth down. That's one of those plays where you got to be very careful. That's a big game by the offense on the ground on third down and long. Tackle made at the 38. Well, the defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. Scrambling around. He's at the 40. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Nowhere to go on a delay. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it is good. A great first half comes to a close. Ohio State's up by eight. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. They bring him down in the backfield. They lose four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. That'll make it fourth and ten. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Ohio State up by eight. Here's the halfback on the screen. That brings him second and five. Makes it out to about the 33. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Mike 15. Mike 15. Get out, get out. Get out. Get out. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 26. Game of 7 on the play. That'll bring up second and 3. He's scrambling, and he's taken down at the 22-yard line. He's under pressure. Lost the ball. Football. Picks up the loose ball. And he's level at the 24-yard line. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover ball. They need to hold on to the football. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. That's a great tackle at the 27. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 27. down after a nice run up the middle. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 44. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. 
He tackles him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That brings up third and ten. And here's another third down. hit immediately. Game two on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. And here's the, wait a minute, the up back's got it. And he's hammered down. Unable to get the first down, and the ball will change hands. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Ohio State is up by eight. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. So the sack makes this a second and long. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down to the 39 yard line. Tackle at the 38 yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Six yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he throws it away. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Chucks it downfield. Pulls it in, and he could score. Brought down near the goal line. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. it up the middle for a nice run so at the end of the third quarter the Buckeyes lead 14-6 back in this very pivotal fourth quarter play coming up and if they can get these two yards we'll have a tie ball game he's on the run they got it 
Those guys just came through with probably the biggest play of the game. They had to get the conversion, and they got it. Nebraska ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. Kirk, I got to ask you, are these two offenses that anemic or are the defenses that good? I think it's a combination of both. I think both of these offenses have shown at times an ability to execute and put points on the board, but they're playing against two really good defenses. So here we are early in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game and a big, big possession coming up here. He's out to the 30. Brought down around the 36-yard line. That's a game of 15. That makes it first and 10. Hey, let's go to Mike Routine, guys. Mike Routine. Caught open field. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. Six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good for a game for your hearts. First down. Hey, Mike's, Mike's, Mike's the team, Mike's the team. Hey, hey, check. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And down he goes at the 37. That's a game of 17. First down. He's going to be sacked for a loss. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's tackled at the 28. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kicks away. That would have given them the lead. You know, sometimes you have to feel sorry for these kickers. They watch most of the game from the sideline, but then they're asked to come in and win the game in the fourth quarter. It's a lot of pressure to handle. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds around the 32-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 32. Caught out in the open. He's brought down in the field. Slides down. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Less than three minutes in the game. He fights forward to about the 39. And he is 
drill at the 41. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackle made at the 40. The Buckeyes will use their first time out of the half. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He sails it long. No, incomplete. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Complete, he's got room, it's on the ground, and no one can get it, it bounces out of bounds. I really thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on it, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's gotta be disappointing. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's going to go for the home run. And he's got it! And Bucks! Ohio State star is shining as brightly as he ever has. It is fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. And that's exactly what we just saw. And he converts the extra point. Ohio State is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 21. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. From the 49-yard line, first down. Just over a minute left. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Zips it to the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. Scrambling. 
Now he's going to run and watch out. And now the ball is loose. Picked up by the linebacker. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 21. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. Nebraska is going to have to use their second time out of the hat. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. The Cornhuskers using their third and final timeout. Ohio State up seven points. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. game 21-14 that's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreit this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye